While most states across the country are fully reopening across the pond, the U.K. is pushing back its so-called Freedom Day. Here's CBS News contributor Simon Bates with this week's London Calling. And a reminder, Simon's opinions are his own and don't necessarily reflect those of CBSN. For some, last week's G7 summit in the beautiful English county of Cornwall was a chance to get a good deal of business done. For their host, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson, it was time to hit the water before he had to make a difficult announcement 230 miles away back in London. Because the following Monday was supposed to be the day when all restrictions were lifted from the English economy. But Mr Johnson had disappointing news. Freedom Day, as he called it, was now being moved four weeks back to July the 19th. And the reason? The Delta virus, first seen in India, sweeping across Britain and increasing infections again. Meantime, our highly successful vaccination programme needs those extra four weeks to plunge millions more jabs into millions more arms. Most people here seem to support the delay, but they're far from convinced that everything our Prime Minister says will always come to pass. Since this all started, he's been highly optimistic about this country's inevitable victory over the virus. But it was a far less bullish Boris Johnson who dropped a bombshell at his press conference. Almost as an afterthought, he said, Britain must learn to live with the virus. An extraordinary moment. Gone was the Chichilian trumpeting of the virus's inevitable defeat by a combination of science and great political leadership. Just an admission that our lives are going to change forever. And it's impossible, of course, to quantify what he means. I suspect he only has a shadow in his mind of what is to come. But the fact that he said it, that we must learn to live with the virus, means that the war is nearly over and the resistance must now begin. That's London Calling for today. This is Simon Bates for CBS News in Devon.